Happy Easter, y'all, from Living on the Fly, and welcome back. My name is Giselle, and this is our fur friend and co-host, Fairy Flaws. And today we have quite a bit of stuff we want to show you, a Dis Family Adventures box of uh, Disney goodies, as well as, always, lounge flies. But before we get to that, Fairy Floss wanted to show you her fit of the day. She is so cute. She's got her Easter bunny outfit on. She is ready, y'all. She's ready to find those Easter eggs. How cute is she? <laughs> Love the sparkles, girl. Well, before we get to all of the goodies, Fairy Floss wants to show you her puppy pics. And boy, are there some good ones. I can't wait for you to see them. I may have peeked a little bit. So let's get to that and then we'll get to some unboxings. Hi friends, welcome back to my puppy pick segment. I rate each bag one to four paws with four being best. Four paws and whiskers, even better. And four paws, whiskers, and a tail, I just can't live without. All of the lounge fly bags I show today can be found on Lounge Fly's website. First is this Jack in the Box collection. We don't have these where I live in Florida, but this taco crossbody bag is really cute. It has a sack bag charm and the lining with the taco sauce packets. Super cute. But I also like this matching curly fries card holder. I give this one four paws. Next is the Sleeping Beauty crossbody bag. And it is spectacular. It is the Sleeping Beauty castle with two compartments. It opens up to a beautiful scene of Aurora and Prince Philip dancing. And her dress changes from blue to pink. It's lenticular. The lining has a 65th anniversary pattern. I want it so much that it gets my very first ever four paws, whiskers, and two tails. Look at this little mermaid bag with Sebastian in the bubble pocket. I love the black background and the pretty artwork. The lining has the characters and the 35th anniversary on it. There's also a very cute matching wallet. It gets four paws and whiskers. Now this is a stunning Little Mermaid crossbody bag. Her face is perfect and the back has her sitting on a rock. I just love the matching shirt and the limited edition pin of 2300 It gets four paws, whiskers, and a tail. I really like this Alice in Wonderland bag. It's so pretty with the black background. It also has a white rabbit that slides across the front of the bag. The lining has teapots and cups and cakes. But the matching wallet is the cutest. This bag gets four paws and whiskers from me. Also in this collection, there is an unbirthday cake crossbody bag that is so cute. The bag charm. Ah, oh, it's adorable. It's at the Dormouse. And it has the same lining as the backpack. This collection also includes a pretty shirt. I love the colors. Oh, and a pop-up limited edition pin of 1100 there's even a lanyard, too. I love it so much. It gets four paws, whiskers, and a tail. Check out this Smurfette bag from the Smurfs. There are cute flowers and mushrooms on the side with all the Smurfs in the land on the back. And the interior is so cute, too. The wallet matches perfectly. I just love the bright colors of this bag. It also has a new Smurfs placard. And this one gets four paws and whiskers from me. 
This next collection comes from the Pixar short named La Luna, and I love it. The stars glow, and the moon actually lights up. The moon is a pocket, and the star is a zipper pull. The lining features the little boy Bambino. It gets four paws, whiskers, and a tail. But this crossbody bag is even more amazing. It's in the shape of a star. And if you've seen the short, you know why. It glows and lights up. And the bag charm is a star too. With the little boy Bambino on it. The matching wallet glows just like the bag. And so does this fabulous pin. It has dangling stars. It's limited to only 1,000 pieces. I am in love. It gets four paws, whiskers, and two tails. Thank you for watching my puppy pics. Until next time, keep wagging your tail. Thank you, Fairy Floss, for those puppy pics. What do you guys think? There are some that I really want, and apparently a lot that Fairy Floss wants, so she better get another job. <laughs> gonna put her to work. Well, from Disney's yeah, we're gonna um, Character Warehouse in Orlando, and I saw this, and of course, I wanted it. It is so cute. It's a pendant pillow, y'all, and look at it. It was, um, it was $19.99 from $30, so that's not bad at all, but it is so cute. I love this pillow. I wish I'd have gotten two of them. I think there was another one with like Daisy Duck on it or something, but it's so cute. I like this side, I think, because it doesn't have the date, but I like it a lot. It's super cute. It has um, Chanel patches, you know, like Letterman's. Um, numbers letterman jacket it's a velvet very very soft and it has embroidered stitching and details throughout oh it's really nice can't wait to put this out i don't know where yet but i'm gonna put it somewhere <laughs> go i'll find a spot all right we also got bobble bar earrings i don't know where she got these maybe marshall's i'm not sure but i don't think it was i'm sure it wasn't the disney warehouse character warehouse yeah, it looks like Marshall's TJ Maxx. And they're they're goofy. Look how cute they are. Oh, I got two goofy things. I like that. So cute. Love bobble bar earrings. As a matter of fact, I have on Make It Pink, Make It Blue today, of course. Uh, and I thought it was perfect for Easter. Along with my Daisy and Donald earrings. Bobble bar earrings. I think they're cute. And these were $12.99. I like the little, um, little rhinestones on there. They always make cute uh, earrings. I love my Oh, Disney. it's a night light. I thought it was cute. It sort of looks like a candle to me. Like a, you know, a wax candle. <laughs> but it's not. It's actually night light. Let's see how it looks. I'm going to pull out the tab. I say I am. Hold on. I guess I'm not. So I'll have to go get, um, you know, one of those little screw uh, Phillips screwdrivers. I'll get it. Don't worry about it. You know it's going to glow. It's the nightlight. There you go. It's a nightlight. It was uh, originally $16.99 and it was marked down to seven or eight, I think. Um, yeah, I thought it was cute though. I'm going to put it next to my bed. Maybe. Probably doesn't put out that much light. Okay. And I can't get something from this family adventures without getting ears. Of course I got ears. They had Oh, y'all, I really, really wanted these. I saw these a while back um, at the um, Epcot, uh, United Kingdom Epcot area, and they were $35, but they were marked down to like $7.99, I believe. Um, the tag's not on here, but I'm sure that's what it was. Look at these. Aren't they beautiful? I just thought they were so pretty. And they're perfect. They're like springy. And I like the crown in the middle, the little silver crown. It's like metal. It's metal. Yeah. And the um, the British flag is actually made out of flowers. Do you see the print? 
I just thought they were so pretty. I really like these. I don't know what bag I'll put them with. Oh, it says something on the side. Um, Queen of the Kingdom. I like that. But you'd rather be a princess because they don't have any of the responsibility that the queen does. <laughs> but isn't that beautiful? I love and it. This is I like the limoncello. The color is so pretty. It's that matte. They're the matte um, sequins. And it's a pretty yellow color, limoncello color. And it says salute. I think that's right. I don't know. I don't speak Italian, but there you go. It says that on the side. It's so pretty. It has a, a metal um, lemon with Mickey in the middle and a really pretty colored uh, bow. Yeah, with those tiles that look like they're from Italy. <laughs> Palazzos. I've been to Italy, by the way. If you haven't been, you need to go check it out. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Anyway, these are super cute. Again, they were $35, but they were marked down to, I believe, again, $7.99. So that's where you need to go get your ears. I have people ask me a lot, where do you get them? Usually from the character warehouse. Sometimes you can get some on eBay too, um, especially from the other parks, Hong Kong. Um, they have some great ears and I'll get some from them as well. So there you go. That's all we got this time from uh, Dis Family Adventures. So check them out. I also wanted to show you what I got. I found this at a um, thrift store and I thought it was perfect for displaying ornaments. So now I need to get more of these. I'm gonna collect uh, as many as I can. I think there's Tangled and some other ones, Snow White. And you know, they're the ones that open up and play the music. You've probably seen me show this before. This is Cinderella. They're so cute. Uh, love it. Tells a little story in there as well as Sleeping Beauty. I have that one and it's so pretty too, but I thought this was a great way to display those and I can keep it out year round. It's uh, not a holiday specific. So I thought it was really cool and I can't wait to add to my little tree. I think it's perfect for these ornaments. So I got this for like $6. Thought it was a good deal. Okay. Next, I could not wait to show you this. I was so excited. I saw it when I saw it come out um, or even before it was released. I thought, eh, it's boring. I don't really like it that much. And when I saw what it did, I had to have it. It is so pretty and it's a perfect bag that goes with everything. But you know, I couldn't leave it alone. Of course I couldn't. I had to zhuzh it up a little bit and check it out. I added some rhinestones, some AB, Aurora Borealis rhinestones, and it just made all the difference in the world. I wish you could see it in person. It really sparkles. But you can see I add them around each one of these cameos. And you'll see here, I added around the plaque as well. But it's all, um, it's all debossed right here. So it has that lovely texture. The cameos are beautiful. This one is a cutout and it has our girl, Princess Tiana. So pretty. And then a beautiful bow right here that is made out of the vegan le leather. And each one of these princesses right here. So you have Snow White, Cinderella, and Ariel, or Ariel. And I like the way the shape of this pocket is. I thought it was really elegant. It's simple. It's pretty. But, you know, I wouldn't have gotten it unless it did something. And it does tricks. So check this out. Let's see if we can do it without messing stuff up. All right. Look at this. They open up with their castle inside. It's a little magnet, y'all. A little magnet. And you just open it. Bam. Check that out so pretty. I am in love with this bag. Ah, oh, so cool. I love it. It also has our friend Jasmine, Princess Jasmine on the side. And over here we have Belle. Belle on the side. And these are printed on. Um, all of this is printed and flat. Then the back has some lovely little roses and they too are just print it on, but it's just such an elegant, simple bag. Side working pockets. Um, let's see what the inside looks like. It has the same print of the, uh, the cameos inside. So let's see if it has a pocket. Try not to break a nail. Y'all know how I'm about nails. Has a slip pocket, but here's what the inside looks like. It's black and white, some roses. 
and the girls are inside, all the princesses. I really thought it was a cool bag. And of course, you know, I had to get the matching wallet. So let's check that out. It's just uh, just like the bag. I don't usually judge my wallets because you're going to pull them in and out and I don't want to mess them up. And this one's pretty cool. It's a nice size wallet. Y'all know I like the size. Um, it's uh, got the same princesses, Snow White, um, Cinderella, and Tiana. And these are on an inset. So there's they're behind it. There's a hole cut out in it and they're in there. And they are actually raised too. I didn't realize that. That nice bow on the front. Then on the back, we have some of the printed. They're just printed on, maybe a little bit debossed. I can feel it with that lounge fly plaque, which we love. Oh, it has um, black hardware on this one. They look a little different, huh? Anyway, still very pretty. This one opens up like that, like a regular trifold, as you can see. What's on the, oh, it's got the same cameo design for the cutout. I like it when they do things like that. Adds that little extra touch. Place for your credit cards, place for your bills. And this is different too. I like that it has the um, zipper for the um, change. I believe that's what it's gonna be for. And yes, it is. Oh, that's big. Check, look at that, bam. You can get to it easily instead of like trying to fumble and lose a nail in there. <laughs> can you tell that's happened to me a couple of times? What do you think? It's very pretty. But Fairy Floss liked it so much that she wanted her own bag to, to match me, you know, just to match me. So she got this. Look how cute. So the lounge fly small bags, the doggy backpacks don't fit her. She's uh, too tiny. She's only three pounds on a heavy day. Okay, so they're still too big for her. But the Nuimos bags are perfect for her i have to alter it a little bit when i put them on her when she wants to wear them um, for the straps but this is a perfect size for her so she got mickey mouse black and white with the black disney lounge fly placard on there and of course she wanted to match me so she put aurora Borealis borealis rhinestones on her bag too so we can match so cute what do y'all think She's been a busy pup. All right, so you know I already have the newest um, Tinkerbell, the sequins one, right over here. You'll probably see it. And I have a few other Tinkerbell bags, another one over there. Um, but I didn't have this one, and it's something that I've been wanting for a while, and I found it at such a good deal. It was over half the listed price, and I'm going to show it to you now. It is one of my favorites. It is the lantern bag. Isn't that beautiful? I just love this one. I've always loved this bag. I know it's a little impractical. No, no one's ever accused me of being practical, but this is a gorgeous bag. And I thought, mm, at that price, I sort of had to have it. Yeah, it's gorgeous. So um, it is a stitch stitch shop bag i always have trouble with that so as a stitch shop bag it comes with a pen it comes only with the bag um it does have the lounge fly stitch shop by lounge fly which we know is their specialty um brand or more um fancy brand if you will and this bag is exquisite tinkerbell is on the inside you can actually open this up y'all look bam open it up and she moves i'm gonna add some lights though you know i gotta be extra <laughs> i'm gonna add some lights in there to light it up i think that'll be so pretty oh i love it it even has a mirror in the back you can see yourself you see that you can see yourself you can see my ring light too <laughs> Woo. anyway it is gorgeous i love it should i zhuzh her on the inside i don't know I don't know, too much, maybe too much. It has a hook on the top, so you can carry it this way if you want. It has um, the straps on either side, so it doesn't lean wonky. See, one side is over here for the hook, one side is over on the other side for the hook. Um, on the inside is the strap, of course, I got the strap. And my bad. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, on the inside, there is a pocket. 
there's a slip pocket and it has Tinkerbell all in there with a, a really a beautiful blue background with her in different poses and it's pretty cool you can just um it, it may be a little bit difficult to get in and out of but I think um you know I'll find a way <laughs> will I wear it yes I will I do plan on wearing this soon very soon actually and then the back if you noticed it says do you believe in fairies you know who liked this bag? Fairy Floss, of course. She loved it, yes. So I think this is a beautiful bag and I'm so excited to add this one to my collection. All right, friends, so the last one I have to show you today is one that I've held on for a while. So just so you know, I have about 11 more. I, I, it seems like I always keep 11. Um, boxes of lounge flies to unopen to open, not unopened, to open up with you. Um, and some of them are actually from early last year, maybe the end. Anyway, some of them I really gotta get to, okay? Because I really wanna show them to you. Um, and this one, I love. I don't think very many people liked it that much, but I like it a lot. And it is the Mickey Mouse watch. You know, I like vintage things and I thought this was so cute and I love that it's a different shape than other lounge flies. And I think it was one of the cutest designs. It's so cute. It reminds me of the Mickey Mouse watch that my parents got me when I was little. So I wanted to have it. Um, it is uh, so well done. The shape, of course, really cool. I love it. The outside of it is this plastic, so it's um, very shiny, glossy right there. It does have arms that move. They do not move independently of one another, okay? So they are, a, seem, yeah, they are attached. It's one piece, but you can move them to whatever time. And it has Mickey Mouse on the front. Oh, so cute. I love it. I love it. And the color is really cool. It's this... Um, it has a sheen to it. It's a silver sheen with red trim and a silver zipper right there. Uh, the lounge fly plaque is in a quite unique place. It's actually over here. So here's the side of it. You can see right here, this is the little, the little knobby thing and it does move. It moves around, you can move it. And then the plaque, look where they put the plaque. Isn't that cool? So you sort of have to look for it. It's underneath, but you can still see it. I thought that was a great idea. So cute. So cute. And then the back says TikTok. <laughs> so cute. Love it. With the Mickey Mouse um, ears uh, as a watch again on the back. I think it's so cute. I'd have to be careful with it only because I know that these could get out of shape but i guess you could just put them down again with a book on top probably make them go back um let's see how it opens up i haven't opened it up so i want to see what's on the inside oh it's that same um design the TikTok from the back the back kit it doesn't have any pockets i don't know can you see that it says TikTok in there it's pretty spacious actually hmm it's pretty big so it should hold a lot. And of course, I had to get the wallet. Now, to be honest, the wallet on this is probably maybe even cooler than this itself. Um, it is the accordion wallet. And I thought it was super cool. And if I hadn't gotten that, I was definitely getting this right here because mm, I don't know what I would have put it with, but I'm glad I got both of them. Look at this. It has the watch on there and it's like already with little watch band things that hold on to it. It is so cute. Now this one, you can't move the arms on the inside because they're on the inside of this plastic, which makes sense because if they put them on the outside, you know they'd have gotten probably ripped off or something pulling in and out of your, um, of your bag. And then the back, it has the place where you buckle, the buckle, yeah, that, and the lounge fly plaque. That's such a cool design. I thought this was great. And this one's a little chunky. Um, it is an accordion, I believe. Let's check it out. And yes, it is. It's an accordion, a card holder. 
That's a lot of cards. <laughs> I could put a lot in there. This is so cute, and I'm really, really um, happy to have this. I think it's a nostalgic, vintagey, and it's just something I really, really like. I appreciate it. And as I mentioned, I do have quite a few more boxes to open up. So stick around with me and we'll find out what they are together. So if you wouldn't mind to subscribe, like, comment, tell me which one is your favorite that I have or which uh, piece of Disney merchandise you liked. Um, also, you know, it'd be great is if you let me know which upcoming lounge fly you would like to see. That might give me some good ideas on what I should uh, maybe get next. Although there were quite a few in that uh, puppy pics that I really, really like as well. Thank you so much again. And until next time, keep living on the fly.